guys, what's up? It's me, Aubrey. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a little sit down video. I do want to point off before I start that I am filming this and it's going to be uploading after all the Black Lives Matter movement has actually been brought back to light and people are rioting, protesting, and they are signing petitions and I just want to make sure you guys know that I am aware of everything and I have some info linked or in the description down below. It looks weird. I usually don't film facing my vanity, but I think it gives like a nice little um, professional look. Sorry, I keep on looking at myself. Today, as you guys can tell from the title, is going to be a, um, it's kind of like three different videos. Let me get my little notebook. It's going to be my high school stats and all that info. I'm also going to give you some tips how to get all A's and then just some random tips for freshmen coming into high school or if you're moving to a new high school, just stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and do my high school stats. I will put all the timestamps right up here. That way you guys can skip to the certain part that you want. But yeah, I think I'm just going to go in the order that I just said everything. But yeah, I'm going to get my laptop real fast. Just basically for my high school stats, I'm going to tell you all the clubs I was in, everything like that, along with all my grades, classes. And um, I'm going to go ahead and scoot over and I'll just list all my classes for each grade. So before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys all my clubs and sports that I was involved in. I was in Key Club. Um, next, I was in National Honor Society. I was also in Stuco, and as Stuco, I was the class secretary. I was a captain in FCS. I was also in Mu Alpha Theta, which is Life National Honor Society, but it's for like math, I guess. So sports, I was in cheer all four years. I'm gonna save the time on this. Um, JV for one year, varsity for three years, and my senior year, I was the um, senior captain with two other girls. I also did soccer. I was um, a part of the soccer team for three years, and then my freshman year, I did track. So that was all my extracurricular activities, sports, clubs, everything like that. Um, I also did have a job uh, throughout my junior and senior year. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get into my classes. So I will have them all listed here. We're just going to start off with my freshman year. And I am not gonna actually put my grade. Um, I did end up getting all A's um, every single class. They varied from A minuses to A pluses. So I don't think that really matters. Um, so I'm just gonna list the classes and tell you guys everything like that. So ninth grade, I had aerobics and conditioning. I had regular freshman biology, computer applications one, design, freshman English, integrated math one, integrated science A, modern American conflicts, Spanish one from eighth grade, it transferred over, and then uh, uh, Spanish two from ninth grade. And then teen topics, and then lastly, world geography. So that was everything from freshman year, the honors class as freshman year. And that was because I was nervous because when we were in eighth grade, I felt like they kind of like upplayed uh, how hard the honors classes were. Sophomore year, so I took AP World History, College Beginner, Spanish 1, and that is Spanish, um, Spanish 101, if you guys are wondering. Um, I also took Honors Chemistry, I took Honors Integrated Math 2, Honors Sophomore English, and then I took Human Anatomy and Physiology A, and then I took Intro to Public Speaking, which is just a regular class, and then I took Photography 1, and then lastly I took Zoology. For my junior year, I took a County 1, and then I took AP uh, English Language and Composition. Then I took um, College Beginner Spanish 2, which is Spanish 102. I, I took College Enjoyment of Music, which is um, MU100. That was just a little fun class that I took. And then I also took College Psychology. I do not know the actual, um, actual name of that one. But then I also took College US History. I took different two different ones. Um, I, I can't remember what they're called either. 
Then I took Honors Integrated Math 3, I took Personal Finance, and then lastly I took Physics 1. I did not take AP Physics because I knew I would not do well in it. And lastly, my senior year, these are all the classes I took. I'm going to go ahead and go by semester. So for the first semester, I took College Algebra, um, I took College Biology, I took College Public Speaking, College Sociology, Freshman Comp, Human, or sorry, that's second semester. I took Lit and Film, which was a really fun class. It wasn't college or anything, but I did like it. And then I took um, US Government. And for second semester, the classes I took included um, College Basic Nutrition, which is Bio 115. I did the second semester of College Bio. I took College Child Health Safety Nutrition, which is ECE 103. I took College Medical Terminology, which is Med 120. I took um, College Statistics, Human Anatomy and Physiology B. I also was an office aide and a teacher aide, so that doesn't really matter for this. But yeah, that is all my classes. My transcript does have my like cumulative weighted GPA for the entire um, school year I was there. So 4.0 on a 4.0 scale and the cumulative weighted GPA on a 5.0 scale is 4.4912. So yeah, that is basically the entire thing. I don't, I don't even know. That's my high school transcript. Those are all the classes I took and yeah, that is that for that section. That took so long and I pr I know I sounded monotone. Sorry, I was like calculating and reading off. So yeah, next is going to be um, my tips to get all A's or how I actually managed to get all A's. The first thing I want to say is I always do my homework as soon as possible, whether it's I never did homework at lunch. I just want to say that I wasn't that type of person. I took my time to eat and check my phone, but if I didn't have any extracurricular activities after school, I would do my homework immediately because for me, I do work better um, in the daytime or in the morning time, not at nighttime. Um, it's just because then I'm tired or I'm hungry or I need a shower. And so I would definitely recommend um, as soon as you get done with your sport or if you don't have a sport, do as soon as possible. Also, if your teachers give you extra time to do homework or get started on it, don't be the person that gets on your phone. Go ahead and just finish out your homework. That way you don't have to worry about, worry about it. And when information is still new in your head, you usually do better on assignments is I love study groups. I actually didn't really participate in study groups until my junior year because that's when my course load got a lot harder. But just like I was saying, doing your homework um, right away, you could use your classmates to get um, better grades on that homework or to understand that. That's like just something you should do. People in your class just even create a Snapchat group chat and you guys could compare homework answers or ask some questions. It's a really, really good studying method. And I will definitely be using that studying tip in college, which I am going to announce where I'm going to college in this video. Um, I completely forgot to mention that. That'll be at the end of this video is a planner. I actually just pulled out two planners. So I kind of wish I kept all my planners from all the years. And this is my planner from my senior year. This is what I use. This is actually my new planner. I've been using this for um, the summer and I'll be using this at college. My favorite is the Blue Sky. This, I think is my favorite one I've ever had. It was the, the designer Snow and Graham. And then this one is just regular Blue Sky, but I love floral as you guys can tell. This is actually what helps me the most. I usually just put tests on the actual laid out, um, what's it called? Laid out view month view i i don't know what i'm saying i'm sorry guys and then on the daily things that's where i put all my homework and i did do um some check check boxes that way i could check off everything that i did but this definitely saved me um and i could just look at it and use it for anything else you can use it for your games your sports um club meetings that's what i did you can use it for appointments literally this is the best thing ever i'm going to go ahead and say this just because I guess it's just fun to look back on, but this is the current one I'm using. So my next tip is to do extra credit always. Even if you have a 99 in the class, do the extra credit because it could possibly bump your grade up to an above a 100%. And that definitely happened to me only in a couple classes, 
but it definitely saved me. Um, I think one class was a math class and it bumped me up to like a 93% and then I didn't do good on the next test and my grade only went down to like a 91%. And um, if I hadn't done the extra credit, I would have a B in the class. And so just always do extra credit. I would definitely recommend it. Um, always go for the highest extra credit point. Always, um, I don't know, that's just, I feel like that's kind of common knowledge. Just do the extra credit. It's not that big of a deal. The last study tip I have is to ask questions. If you're confused, ask questions. It could be to a classmate or to your teacher. And if you're not comfortable saying it in class, just go up to your teacher after class and just talk to them. And I know, at least for me, um, they were always willing to help. And it's better them explain it than Google explain it. I think that's all my tips for um, how to get all A's. I know there's definitely more, but that's all I wrote down. But now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next section, which is going to be some tips for freshmen. These are very, very little tips. Um, I am not an expert in this at all. Have is get involved. I know everyone says this in all the videos. I remember when I was an eighth grader and I looked up tips for freshmen in high school and the number one thing was to get involved. But as you guys can tell, I was very involved in high school. A big reason why I am su successful is because I was involved in so many things. To get into um, is Spirit Club or if you guys do have F FCS or uh, what is it? F FCA, I think that's the actual fellowship of Christian athletes. We changed ours for all students that way you didn't have to be an athlete to be in it. But I don't know, it doesn't even have to be anything like that. Like it could be theater or a sport. Just get into something where um, you actually enjoy something. It could be an art club, something like that, where you're, you're gonna meet people that are like you and you connect with. And having friends definitely does make high school better. And I know a lot of people aren't as fortunate as I am in other people are in high school but getting involved will open those doors and you could even find a little mentor like the club sponsor or sport coach or whatever but that's my number one tip i don't know how many schools do young life but even if you aren't a believer in god i just say go to young life um it's fun you get a little message and even if you aren't paying attention you are getting it in your head and it's just nice to talk to those older older students because usually the Young Life camp, or not, they're, they're not camp leaders, they're just the leaders in general. They are usually students in college and they can just kind of mentor you. Um, I would recommend going to Young Life. This is go to games. I'm kind of biased because I was a cheerleader and I went to every game possible. But um, I mean, obviously if you want to go to games, go to it. Um, it's fun to experience school spirit and you get to be with your friends. You also get concession stands and it's just fun to be involved in all that. And if there are um, theme, theme game nights, definitely dress up. It just makes it so much better. Have is be friends your teachers. They want to be your friend. Well, they kind of want to be your friend. Like they don't want to be Facebook friends until you graduate or whatever, but um, be friends with them because uh, they help you. They could be college recommendation letters, scholarship recommendation letters. Like you need to befriend your teachers. And I know the teacher's pet is like, you don't want to be the teacher's pet and you don't have to be the teacher's pet. But if you're friends with your teacher, it just really benefits you and it makes high school a lot more enjoyable. So my last, and I think it's the most important um, tip for any freshman or any high schooler in general, is to just be nice to everyone. I honestly don't understand the whole, oh, I'm popular, you're a nerd, I'm gonna like be mean to you or leave you out. Literally, if you see someone in the hallway, smile at them. Even if you're having a bad day, smile because I guarantee you it lifts your spirits. That's something I would do as long as I wasn't looking at my phone. If I saw someone in the hallway, I'd give them the biggest smile ever because I knew it would help me and it would help them. Um, I also, if I was in the lunch line and I saw somebody, I'd ask how they're doing, talk to them. If I saw someone who was sitting all by themselves, I would usually ask them to sit with me. Sometimes they did not want to sit with me, but at least I asked and they knew that I was thinking of them or stuff like that. And just really, I don't know how to put it any other way is being nice is the most important thing. Um, I just, I don't understand how people can't be nice. I don't know. I'm naive, I guess. That is all of my tips, my high school stats, all that stuff. Sorry this video was really long. I've been filming for 25 minutes, so 
Before I go, I do want to announce what college I'm going to. I don't have a t-shirt or anything of theirs, which is kind of sad, but yeah, I guess I will just say it. I'm going to the University of Kansas. Yeah, uh, it is called KU. That's some, like an acronym or something for it. But yeah, that is where I'm going. Um, I'm so excited. I got into the Honors College, which is really exciting. I actually have my schedule. I did my orientation a couple days ago when I'm filming this. And I was going to film that, but it was all online. And so that was a little weird. But yeah, I am officially a college student, University of Kansas, Rock Chalk. It's going to be at the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want um, more college content, school content, make sure to subscribe. I have actually um, been gaining a couple subscribers and it makes me so happy. I've been trying to manifest 200 subscribers and I am almost getting there. And I just want to say thank you if you guys did subscribe. And if you guys are just watching me for the first time, subscribe down below it would be greatly appreciated but yeah that's going to be the end of this video i just want to say i'm sorry if i kept on touching my hair and looking at myself in the viewfinder first my hair is greasy and so i feel like i have to shift it and then second i just the lighting situation i don't know anyways yeah that's it peace and love bye guys feeling good like i should